Hello and a warm welcome viewers. You're watching this special presentation of Sunset TV Sambad with your host Kriti Mishra. And joining us is a very special guest, Speaker of Arunachal Pradesh Assembly, Mr. Pasang Dorji Sona. So welcome to Sunset TV and thank you so much for joining us. We've been covering you during successive uh, All India Presiding Officers Conference. This time around it is in Jaipur. Take us through the priorities and take us through the importance of this kind of deliberation for ensuring effective functioning of the legislatures. See, uh, you, you have been part of all this conference all this while. So you understand every time, you know, whenever we meet for presiding officers conference or for that matter, Commonwealth Parliamentary Association conferences and all, one of the key topic has always been, you know, about uh, how to uh, kind of uh, make the legislature more accountable, more effective, and what are the kind of uh, loose ends and you know, drawbacks and you know, certain you know, things where we need to improve on you know, to make legislature effective you know, so that we uh, as a legislature and as an elected representative you know, live up to the aspiration of people. So this has been a you know, continuous process. So every people have their different kind of uh, opinion about how to bring about changes you know, in making the legislature uh, effective, you know, which will be more accountable to the people because ultimately the laws are made in the houses, you know, the parliament and the assemblies. And there you know, a lot of deliberations take place. And to kind of um, the framework we see, sometimes you know, we feel that certain lacunas are there you know, where we need to work on in, which, to, to how to make it more effective. So to, uh, this uh, 83rd conference also, a lot of deliberations are on still about uh, how they perceive and how they see that you know how, what best we can you know contribute or what best changes we can make you know to make uh, the entire legislation process effective you know for the larger benefit of the you know people and the nation right uh, so of course the focus is on ensuring that the legislatures work effectively and digital interventions are extremely very important so in Arunachal Pradesh, how, how have you implemented all these interventions? See, that's what we, what we have seen, you know, the, the conventional paperwork, you know, takes a lot of time, you know, and uh, it, it involves a lot of uh, human resources and, and then the kind of efficiency is also very low. And reaching out to people, you know, through those conventional methods was little, you know, uh, uh, hard. So what we thought, you know, the digitization, because due to advent of, you know, digital technology, we thought we must take benefit of the digitization so that you know the ultimate benefit reaches to the people you know who all are stakeholder so what we have done you know first thing first what we have done the entire process of uh, legislation legislative process we had digitized it you know because it saves a lot of time and at the same time you know then efficiency and accountability because whatever we uh, kind of uh, you know, process through you know digital medium you know it, it, you can easily upload yeah, you know and people can access it earlier what happens you know, when it was a paper thing it remains in the office and yeah. you know, someone has to come all the way look for it at times you you know search for it and you know, it's lost sometimes termite eats it up sometimes you know rat eats it up so these things you know we have to come a long way in digitizing the assembly and not only in the legislative process but the entire process you know of uh, the session also we are you know, putting up on digital uh, media, you know, like YouTube, all those uh, platforms we use in YouTube and Facebook, so that, you know, the accountability is there. People know that what their representatives are you know, doing for them, you know, whether the kind of contributions, you know, they are, you know, giving to the, you know, uh, electors. So that was one of the major thing which we have done and it's working out to be very effective and a lot of appreciation and even the members, you know, they're finding it now very uh, user friendly and effective mode of you know communicating with their own electors and all the stakeholders you have lots on your platter with india's g20 presidency particularly the arunachal pradesh chapter what are the preparations what are the priorities i uh, see uh, when it comes to g20 so uh, i was uh, uh, out of town that time you know then the honorable chief minister called me they said they had a cabinet meeting and uh, uh, we have uh, decided that you know a speaker should be chairing the G20's meeting which is going to happen in Arunachal. So that was a great privilege. And, and the, what I would say, the, getting the presidency of G20 for India itself is a matter of you know, great privilege because it will help India showcase its 
rich culture, rich potentials, you know, and, and the kind of India where we aspire to be, you know, the world guru. So that we can, you know, showcase it to the world because this is a big opportunity. So we are very grateful to our Prime Minister, which he had taken the G20 meetings to every nook and corner of the country. And almost every state is having some or other uh, event. So likewise, Arunachal is also having, and I'm quite happy that, you know, I've been given the, you know, uh, uh, privilege of, you know, being the chair for the, for organizing the G20 in Arunachal Pradesh. So in Arunachal also, when it comes to G20, a lot of people, obviously it's an international relation and international politics. So a lot of people, they don't, maybe they don't understand what is the importance of G20. Through this meeting, they will also come to know. Yeah. It will not only be concentrated in the capital city. We are planning to, you know, take it to the districts also where people are aware and the role of you know, our own nation. You know, and the whole theme of you know, Vasudeva, Vasudeva Kutumbakam, that like the whole world is a family. So this how we actually implement, you know, while we take the presidency, the India. And but one thing I would say, like, you know, a year of presidency is too less for a country, you know, to prove his metal. That's right. So That's it should be at least three or five years, you know, then only because India is such a huge Absolutely. country with so much of diverse culture, so much of different kind of potentials. And but in Arunachal, what I have thought, you know, we will focus more on the women empowerment, you know, and uh, tourism and culture. And because women empowerment has been a very vexed issue all the time. So we thought, you know, through this G20, we will try to work something out where, like, you know, we say, okay, you know, how do we involve women in decision making in the development process of the state? And we, you know, showcase it to the world and, you know, other state that how empowered our women are in Arunachal Pradesh. Because a lot of people, there's a common notion that women have always been suppressed, you know, they don't get, you know, equal opportunity. But in Arunachal, we have uh, given so much of uh, impetus to the women empowerment because if you see the panchayat we have something called Jila Parishad chairperson so more than 50 percent chairpersons are women in the grassroots politics so this is a very beautiful and good indication that you know women are really you know coming in front you know to take up responsibility absolutely and before we let you go sir what are the new innovations that you've introduced in the assembly See, innovations, there is no limit to innovations, but uh, at the same time, when we talk about innovation, you know, it boils down to the kind of fund you have, you know. Yes. So, we have a lot of things in our mind, in the pipeline. So, now what we have done in the assembly, you know, it's not only about the digitization also. What we have done, you know, we are making assembly accessible to everyone, okay. and especially the student folks, you know to try to learn about the legislative process, try to learn about the democratic, you know, essence and try to learn about how the entire, you know, uh, with the judiciary, not sorry, you know, the legislature functions, you know. So that you know, we equip them, you know, well before, you know, they are ready to take the responsibility. So we've opened up, you know, earlier it used to be like those assembly secretaries used to be very closed door affair. Yeah. Only members and legislation, you know, and the government business and nothing more than that. But we have opened up it for the public, for so that way. So we are like trying to create more uh, 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 kind of uh, facilities there, so that you know a lot of uh, you know even the scholars they can come, even the students they can come, and for that matter, even general public also they can come and understand about how their leaders, their elected representatives are, you know, really uh, performing and working because we have the entire uh, proceedings which we have already you know. Uh, digitize the whole thing you know they can come and see what their list what their um, members have done for them what have they spoken in the uh, assembly so that way it's it's a complete transparent and accountable assembly which we are planning to do through digitization and through opening up uh, the assembly secretariat for people but obviously there will be certain limitation to it it doesn't mean that we open up everything and you know it again the sanctity is gone the sanctity also we kept and at the same time we open it up so that people also you know, have a first hand experience you know, about the whole thing. Fantastic. On that positive note, thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you so much.